ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. The soldiers we saw back on the trail. Sounds like they're in trouble. If Greyhawk's braves attack them, they'll not have much chance. Let's go. Ambushers. Looks like we've got friends. Ambushers like to give surprises, not receive them. You scare them, Kimasabi. They'd disappear. Can't see anyone, but whoever it is arrived just in time. Let's get down to the soldiers. There's a few questions I want to ask them. Come on. Two men, Lieutenant. They're headed this way. Good. Hey, one of them is masked. Must be a bandit. Hold your fire, Murphy. I don't care whether he's a bandit or not. I still want to shake his hand. Howdy, mister. We owe you our lives. Those Indians really had us pinned. You won't have any more trouble, Lieutenant. We just saw them right off. How's the wounded man? Losing a lot of blood. Me fix him. Uh, bind leg tight to baboon. Stop bleeding. That engine knows his business. You'll have your man in traveling shape in no time at all. You were putting up a good fight against those Indians, Lieutenant. A losing fight, you mean? I never thought Black Eagle's men would try to ambush an army patrol. They were Black Eagle's men, but not anymore. What do you mean? They're renegades now. Broke away from the tribe a few months back. They're following a young chief who stole all of Black Eagle's gold. Calls himself Greyhawk. You seem to know a lot about them. I've made it my business to investigate. I wish I had a full troop under my command. I'd investigate them right out of this territory. You'd need a full troop, Lieutenant. <laughs> but I admire your spirit. You see, Greyhawk's warriors are using the latest army rifles. Oh, uh, I can't believe that. Think back, Lieutenant. The band that just attacked you was halfway up that slope. Too far away to get you without the latest rifles. But they did get you. Rather, they got your man there. Why, yes. Only the new rifles do have that range. Surprise, isn't it, Haynes? Say. Besides knowing about our rifles, you know my name, too. Who are you, anyway? I'm no outlaw, as you probably think. That's hard to believe, you wearing that mask and all. Major Pollard, uh, <laughs> pig face, I think you call him, is a new commandant at Fort Maddox, isn't he? Yes, and that's his, well, that's our nickname for him. You even know that. I know a lot about Fort Maddox. You see, I'm trying to prevent a war between the Indians and the whites. Somehow, I've got to find out how those Indians got the rifles. The only place they could get them is at the fort. <laughs> but we don't hand them out to the Indians. I'm not so sure, Lieutenant. What do you mean? I think I can prove otherwise with your help. Well, what do you want me to do? Lieutenant, when you get back to the fort, spread the news around about the Indians having those new rifles. Study the reaction to this news and let me know what happens. No harm in that, I guess. But uh, where'll I find you again? You know the cave west of the fort? Yes. Meet me there tomorrow morning at 9. Sure thing. You were detailed to find a supposedly hostile tribe of Indians, which was reported in this area, Lieutenant. Your failure to do so is one more indication of your unfitness for life on the frontier. Private Johnson was wounded, Major, in an ambush set by the very Indians we were looking for. We had to return. You should have gone ahead without him. Sir, in my opinion, it's no use looking for those Indians unless we can send out troops in force. Before I send out a large number of men, we must first find the Indians' camp. When we do that, Major, we must be prepared to fight. Those Indians are equipped with the latest Army Springfields. What gave you that preposterous idea? The range of their arms, sir, when they fired at us. Are you offering this remarkable flight of imagination as an excuse for your failure to find the Indians' camp? No, sir. Then you have no excuse. Sir, I made my report. There are no excuses necessary. I see. Sergeant? The lieutenant is under arrest. Take him to the guardhouse. But, but Major, arrest, I don't understand. Come, Lieutenant. 
don't understand failure to carry out orders? Lock him up. I'll prefer charges later. He is to speak to no one. Yes, sir. Sir? Get the storekeeper. I want to talk to him. Yes, sir. Sorry, Lieutenant. The Major's a hard man to figure. Yes, he certainly is. Oh, Sergeant, something I'd like you to do for me, a favor. Lieutenant, I can't do anything for you. I shouldn't even have spoken. But, Sergeant, this is... Sorry, sir. I have to obey orders, too. I understand. Fool savages. I told them not to use those guns in this area. But what gave Lieutenant Haynes the idea they were Army rifles? They're arranged, Asa. Simple. But he has no proof, though. He can't tie us in with them. I know. But before he talks more about the rifles, I've got to get rid of him. Maybe the men on his patrol, too. Murphy and Johnson. Murphy? Good. He's been a big bother lately. In what way? Well, he's been hanging around the storeroom a lot, sort of checking up. I surprised him in there yesterday. Find any rifle shortages? No, I got rid of him before he did. But he'll come back. I never realized we had so many curious young soldiers here. Well, there's a couple of other things going on I don't like, Pollard. I've got a feeling that I've been followed. The last two times I made trips out to Greyhawks. Followed? Why didn't you say something before? Well, I wasn't sure. But yesterday, on my way back, I saw a masked hombre turn off the trail up ahead of me, disappear in the brush. He was riding a big white horse. A white horse? Huh. It couldn't be anyone from here. No white horses on the post. I know, but I just didn't like him seeing me near Greyhawk's hangout. I don't think we've got to worry about an outlaw on a white horse. But we do have the problem of Lieutenant Haynes and cohorts. And I've got an idea. What's your plan? You ride up to see Greyhawk now and tell him that I'm sending out a detail. Hello. There, on the trail from Fort Maddox. That storekeeper we see before. I wonder if Lieutenant Haynes threw a scare into him. He's heading for Greyhawk's camp. Me take shortcut there. Pretend to be lone Indian who want food. Find out what him do with him go there. Good idea, Tonto. Greyhawk won't be suspicious of you. I'll give you something to trade for a meal in case he won't give you a handout. Me try not to use it. Good. Come back as soon as you can. I'll meet you at camp. Good luck. Me, Tonto, come from North Country, not understand. Speak white man language, then. What do you want? Me hungry, want food. Maybe sleep here tonight. You pay with gun? No. Ah. This buy plenty food, silver. Give him food. Take gun. Howdy, Greyhawk. Oh, why you come here? Well, I've got something for you. Greyhawk not buy more rifles from Pollard. Him got all Greyhawk's gold now. <laughs> I'm not trying to sell you any rifles this time. I've got a gift instead from Pollard. Gift. The Major's sending some men into the hill tomorrow, a small band, to look for your camp again. Him promise not to do that. Him break promise once. Well, he had to do that for show, but not this time. These soldiers are troublemakers at the fort. Now, he's going to send them through Pinion Pass. They'll arrive about noon tomorrow, but he doesn't want them to find you. Understand? If Greyhawk gets rid of soldiers, him keep horses and rifles. That's the Major's gift. That good. Greyhawk will fix ambush. No soldier leave pass alive. Fine. Eat. Uh, sure, thanks. Me 
Me plenty fool. Go now. No spend night? No. Hey, Injun. You were speaking English. You a member of this tribe? Him solitary hunter. Him buy food. An Indian buy a meal? Well, I thought they could go out and hunt one up any time. Where'd you come from? Up north. Me Potawatomi. Him rich. Pay good. Silver. A silver bullet. You don't see these very often. Where'd you get this? Maybe me find it. Maybe you did. And maybe you didn't. I've heard of a man who uses silver bullets like these. Rides a white horse. White horse. Hey, wait a minute. Your name's Tonja or something like that, isn't it? Him Tonto. Tonto, that's it. That hungry I saw riding a white horse. He's your pal, the Lone Ranger. Ever hear of him, Greyhawk? Him dangerous man. I'll say he is. Finding this engine here is proof he's not far away. Where's your pal hanging out? No, you don't, engine. You're staying right here. You know too much. Your pal is bound to come back looking for you. When he does, we'll grab him. Him not walk into trap. Him know about rifles. Maybe him bring soldiers here. Nobody knows about those rifles, Redskin. And the only soldiers coming this way aren't going to arrive. Is that right, Chief? Better tie him up, post guard. You pay? Yes, I'll pay. One rifle for holding Tonto. Ten if you get his masked friend. Florigny, South Murder. Sorry to get you up so early, Lieutenant. Here's an order from the Major. Order? I don't get it, Sergeant. First time jailed for failure to perform my duty, then I'm ordered out again to look for renegades, opinion pass. Another wild goose chase. It's a strange world, sir. And orders seldom make sense. Has Sergeant Murphy been informed? He says here he's to go with me. He's ready now. He's waiting with two other men and horses. He has your sidearms. Fine. Oh, Sergeant. Sir? When do you go off duty? In about an hour. I'd like you to do that favor I started to mention last night. Sure, Lieutenant. I guess I can now. I want you to deliver a message to a friend of mine. All right. Where do I find him? He'll be at that cave just west of the fort. Now, you tell him that I've been ordered out on... Uh... Don't shoot, mister. What are you hiding there for? I was waiting. For you, I guess. Lieutenant Haynes told me a man with a mask and maybe an Indian. Where is the lieutenant? Well, he sent me to tell you that he couldn't meet you. Had to go on an early patrol. Early patrol? Where? Major Pollard sent him out looking for Indians again. Out in the Pinion Pass area. How many in the patrol? Four altogether. Only four and going to Pinion Pass. That could be suicide. Suicide? What do you mean? If the Indian renegades in the back hills hear about that, there could be a massacre. Massacre? Hmm. Oh, now who'd spill that news to the Indians? I'm not sure yet. By the way, did you see the storekeeper at the fort this morning? Asa? He wasn't there. And I know, because I was looking for him. The lieutenant wanted me to buy a present for that Indian friend of yours, Tonto, for patching up Johnson's leg. So Jones didn't return. Speaking of Tonto, have you seen him this morning? I saw no one till you came along. I've been waiting here some time. Is he missing? Yes, just like Jones. Tonto didn't return to our camp last night. Say, you don't suppose them renegade redskins have got him, do you? I don't know, Sergeant. But I'm going to find out. You're not just going to ride out and ask them Indians, are you? Yes, that's just what I'm going to do. Thanks for the lieutenant's message. Adios. Do you like talking before I head back for the fort? Where's your pal's camp? Still won't open up, huh? You want your pal to walk right into a trap. Him not get caught. I sort of think he will. When he does, we're going to have a big party here. Greyhawk's going to see that you and your pal furnish special entertainment. Nova. 
Buying guns. You good catch. Very good catch. Sanko. Quite gone. Was Jones here? Ah, uh, him come. And he struck Greyhawk to ambush soldier patrol near Pinion Pass. Him just now leave. Have the Indians left for the ambush yet? No, pass close by. Then not leave for hour, maybe. Me learn too, Pollard and Jones sell rifles to Greyhawk. Just as I suspected. Now we've got to work fast. Work fast? You walk in the trap? Only because I wanted to, Tonto. Finding you was made too easy. I knew I'd be captured. Well, how we escape, them take everything. I've come prepared. Take this. Love, plenty of clever hiding place. Hide the knife. Got my own today. Oh, yeah. Hooks up. What'd you tell him? I told him to bring back his chief. What we do that? We're going to surprise him. Hurry, tell him. Tonto, bring over that hide. What'd you do? Cactus spines are sharp. Let me understand and make surprise. Yes, Tonto, a good surprise. I'll call your braves. Tell them to go to Turnabout Canyon and wait for you there. Remember, I understand your language. Gambrati! Gambrati! Gaburi! Congo! Boru! Ah! Greyhawk. Over by that window. Turn around. We'll get their horses and tie them in the saddles. You take them to Pinion Pass. Mm, that easy job. May do. When you get there, turn them over to Lieutenant Haynes. Tell him what's happened here and to head for the fort. I'm going there as soon as we get them tied. I did not wish to be disturbed. It's me, Major. Asa. Oh. Where were you? I expected you last night. Got the lead. I had to spend the night with the engines. What's going on here? Plenty. We got to get out of here fast. This letter just arrived. It must have been delayed in the mail. It says that a special army inspection party is on its way to Fort Maddox. And for me to expect its arrival here on June 24th. That's tomorrow. Tomorrow, Paula? So what? Those rifle shortages will never escape them. Now, take it easy, Major. If the missing rifles are noted, pin the blame on Lieutenant Haynes, Sergeant Murphy, deceased, who sold them to Greyhawk before they were, unfortunately, scalped. Oh, yes. Yes, I could do that. That's a good idea, Asa. I've got another good one, too. I learned who that hombre on the white horse was. I baited a trap out of Greyhawk to catch him. Who was he? He's here now. The masked man. Put your hands high. What do you want? How did you get in the fort? With a pass, Major. Right now, I'm asking the questions. you, Lieutenant. 
Lieutenant Haynes' friend. Guard, get that man out of here. He's under arrest. Just a minute, Sergeant. There's going to be an arrest, but it isn't mine. You heard me, guard. Arrest that man. Hello, Major. Asa. Haynes, are you here? Another surprise, eh, Major? I see Tonto found you all right. He certainly did, mister. And we have Chief Greyhawk secured in the guardhouse. Him confess everything on way over. Guard, I demand that you obey my orders. Major Pollard, for the time being, I'm giving the orders. On whose authority? War Department, Washington. This will explain, Lieutenant. I'm sure it will, friend. You'll find Greyhawk's renegades in Turnabout Canyon. Tonto told me of that, too. Clever plan. Sergeant Murphy rounding up troops now to get them. Good. Just one more thing, Lieutenant. The Indian's gold, which Pollard received for the rifles, must be returned to Black Eagle's tribe. We'll have his quarters searched immediately. I already have. You'll find it in one of his footlockers. Well, I'll see that it's returned. Well, I guess that ties up all the loose ends. Well, Skip, I'll leave everything in your hands. Come on, Tonto. Adios, gentlemen. Hey, wait a minute! They don't seem to be in any mind to wait, sir. No, they sure don't. Say, Lieutenant, what is that masked man's name? I've never seen the likes of him before. Well, I just found out who he is, Sergeant. The Indian Tonto told me. He's the Lone Ranger. Hail Silver! Hail 